Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos. So if there's anything that you guys want us to react to, movies, movie trailers, uh, anything you find interesting, uh, scientific stuff, religious stuff, just let us know. We'll be more than glad to react to it. Otherwise, welcome. I hope you guys are doing alright. And yeah, you can actually find us on Facebook and Instagram as Funny and Jesse. So just feel free to hit us up, say hi, suggest stuff there, and we'll actually respond. Also, check out my blog, Morning Coffee with Funny, and just enjoy the um, the content that I put out there. It's just a blog about positivity, and yeah, you might need it. So today, I'm going to be reacting to. Um, non-muslims reacting to quran versus bible social experiment i actually love these social experiments that people do they um i just find them interesting because people really really react differently sometimes uh people's reactions is not what we expect expect you know so without wasting time let's get into the video assalamu alaikum what's up guys my name is hanny and you're watching hanny's vibe so in this social experiment, I'll have strangers listen to the Qur'an, and then I'll have them listen to the Bible. And then I'll ask them which one affected them more. Let's see what kind of reactions we get. So what's your name? Andre. I'm going to play two things, and then just tell me how they affect you. Alright? Yeah. Alright. You ready? بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا أقسم بيوم القيامة ولا أقسم بالنفس اللوامة أيحسب الإنسان أن لن نجمع عظامة بلا قادرين على Alright, that was the first one. Okay. Now I'm gonna play the second one. Okay. <laughs> the Epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Ephesians. Chapter 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, to the saints which are at Ephesus, and to the faithful in Christ Jesus, grace be to you, and peace from God our Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved, in whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace, wherein he hath abounded toward us in all wisdom and prudence. All right, so uh, which one affected you more? The second one didn't really make me feel anything. I just understood it. And the first one, it kind of made me feel because like I said, the melody and the, you know, basically the feeling that he was he was singing with kind of made me feel something. But other than that... The second one, because that one was in English, so that one I understood. Mm -hmm. um, and I was raised um, Catholic, so that one makes sense in my head. The second one, I would say the second one because it explains um, the concept and the idea of Jesus Christ and who he was to us as a person. And then the first one, it kind of, I didn't really understand it, so I couldn't relate to it. It was more so like a sound song or like, um, I can sense it was like something for like a solemn prayer, but I really couldn't understand it or relate to it. And the second one actually really explained like the concept of what, it, what they wanted us to understand and relate to. I really don't know. I was expecting the second one to be singing, like the first mm -hmm. one. So I guess that shocked me, but obviously I understood the second one. I didn't understand the first one. Um, first guy had a beautiful voice. Um, 
I'm not very religious, so I, like, it's not something that speaks to me, but I understand. The first one, it, well, they both affected me equally in, like, feeling something, obviously. Um, I like music, so the first one was definitely better to listen to, and there was, like, it was peaceful, but there also felt, like, a little bit of, um, like, pain or, like, angst in it, and then, like, the second one just reminded me of my church days. So, which one would you say affected you more? I would say the first one did, um, because I'm currently studying jazz right now, so um, I feel like having a bridge between a melody and something that's being communicated is, is more powerful than just saying it, um, All right. yeah, regardless of re religion. So the first one was the Holy Quran, okay. and the second one was the Holy Bible. I just want to use the social experiment to see like how people would you know, with emotions, like see how mm -hmm. which one affects them more or which one affects them less. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you want to see a part two. If this video gets 5,000 likes, I'll do a part two. And yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on my social media, my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter will be right here. And yeah, see you guys next week. Peace. I actually love this, really, really love this. Um, he didn't have to do the most to do to carry out this experiment, you know. He just go in there, let people do the reacting and assuming you know, whatever it is that they want to assume. Um, I understand what people are saying, I really do understand. Because for people in music, they always choose something musical because they can relate. And sometimes, um, and sometimes that actually speaks to them, even though they don't understand. Because there's many people out there where um, a song is not in the language that they're familiar with, that they can understand, that they can, um, or that means anything to them. But they're able to vibe with that sound tune or whatever it is, just because they're into such things. And then there's the other half of the world that's going to um, sit there and think, you know what, because, because I understand this, I'll pick it over this. But that's, I, I don't feel like that was the situation in this case because people, I wasn't even expecting this reaction because people reacted the way they reacted. Um, they're able to relate to the Bible because it was in a language that they were able to understand. Otherwise, if they could understand what this other thing was saying, what the Quran recitation was saying, I'm sure they would, they would be um, divided to choosing what to go with. Um, also, the people that chose music, there's a lady that chose music. She said there's some emotion coming from this. So it it's also depends on how the person recited it that she picked up that thing and said, you know what, I'll go with the first one, not the second one, because of this that I'm picking up. Otherwise, I really, really love this. And I feel like it was clean reactions, not influenced by anything. And I would love to see more of this, honestly speaking. So if there's something like this that you guys want, to, want me to react to or want us to react to, drop it down below by dropping the link or the name of the video that you want us to react to and we'll be more than glad to react to it um let me know what you guys think about these guys reactions so what do you think about their reactions uh your expectations of this video what were they and yeah make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video